Now to an alarming attack in the skies. Police say a passenger on a jet blue flight from JFK placed a straight edge razor near a woman's neck. Authorities escorted the passenger from the plane. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze has the details. For jet blue, ETA 1409, jet blue also reporting they had one male passenger threatening another passenger with a pocket knife. A Utah man is facing federal assault charges after police say he brought a razor blade onto a plane and then allegedly held it up to a woman's throat during the flight. Pocket knife has been removed from the aggressor. Video shows police escorting the man identified as 41 year old Merrill Daryl Fackrell off the JetBlue flight after it landed Monday in Salt Lake City. Passengers now describing what they called a terrifying scene. And I can tell he has something in his hand, which I think is a weapon. Federal prosecutors say Fackrell was in a window seat next to a woman when he placed his hand on her screen and told her to pause her movie. Authorities say the woman told police that's when she noticed his hand was clutched inches away from her throat, holding a one to two inch straight edge razor blade. She said she lunged for the aisle, her husband sitting next to her alerting flight attendants. She was able to break away and run to the front. I'd never seen like a woman run so quickly. The midair scare coming just weeks after a man allegedly brought two box cutters onto a Frontier Airlines plane. GMA's George Stephanopoulos pressing the TSA administrator on how that man got through security. We take our, our security mission incredibly seriously. It's really an all hands on deck effort uh, for us in TSA from the local uh, airport all the way up to headquarters. We have um, changed our training procedures a bit and changed our standard operating procedures a bit. Um, and so I'm comfortable that uh, we have closed the vulnerabilities. But new questions arising after this latest incident as millions hit the skies this holiday weekend. I'm like, how did you get past security? I don't know. Now, we reached out to Fackrell's lawyers for comment and haven't heard back. The TSA said it's working with authorities on this case, and JetBlue added that its crew members worked to de-escalate the incident.